Hi, brothers. Yes, sponsor time returns. It is back. And it's back with a sponsor that's better than most of them. Yes, you heard right. We're back with sponsor time, and we're back with a shakingly good sponsor. Obviously, and seriously, my favorite sponsor. Not even kidding. And that is the legendary Ridge Wallet. Wait, what am I hearing? You don't know what Ridge Wallet is? You don't know what this is? You live behind, like, a mountain? I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you. Unbelievable. Rich Wallet is a light, sleek, and industrial brand new wallet. It changes the matter. There's no folding. There's no thickness inside your pants most of the time. This is the future. The cyber future of the wallet game. What, you think I'm talking crap here? Let's ask Tommy on the mountain, the alpha Tommy on the mountain. Not behind the mountain like some of you guys with your weird wallets. Let's ask Tommy on the mountain. Beautiful mountain. And I was hiking with Lisa today. And a good friend during this hike was indeed the rich wallet. I'm not kidding here. I'm not making a commercial. Imagine having this thing in your pants while you're hiking through the mountains, very dangerous, or a very fat clunky one. Rich Wallet is where it is. Thank you very much, Rich Wallet. Back to the video. God damn, that's a sexy Tommy if you ask me. And he knows about the wallet game. Seriously though guys, all jokes aside, Rich Wallet is so far the my favorite sponsor that we had so far, because I legit use this thing now. I want to be dead honest, in the beginning I was a bit like, ah, okay, what is this? But as the weeks and months went by, I, I came to love this product, I'm not even kidding. I'm using it all the time now, for a lot of reasons. So boys, check it out, up to you, once again, you will have 45 days of a full refund. If you don't like it, just send it back, up to you guys. Check the link down below, have fun with the video, have a good day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and all the best. Bye. What I didn't do on Friday, which is Bulgaria. Bulgaria is a challenge, Bussy. actually, someone says. Hi, Tommy. I love your content. Maybe a tip for a hoi for noob. Uh, thank you for the $5. A tip for hoi for noob. Do not play the game. Fucking leave it. I'm just kidding. Tip for the game. Don't watch all these YouTubers. They suck at the game. Um, another tip. Only watch me. Another tip. Do 40 whiffs, don't do 20 whiffs. Another tip, have green air. Another tip, play World of Warcraft. And, and the Bulgaria, let's take a look again. Iron Man mode, no historical, I like that. People are saying it's hard. Take a fucking look. We're gonna have a late game. This game is gonna get very long because we have to kill everybody. Um, we could go into politics already, but just like last time, I feel like TK I want to rush the research slot first. So I think I'm going for the uh, expansion of the Sofia University first, like the last time. You can't really do much in Bulgaria, man. Yes, we have a DLC here for miners, but you have to still remember there's not much going on on miners. You're just going to be AFK a long time. We're going to build that one thing here. But let's take a look at achievements again, because I think we have to go communist for all the achievements. Um, kill Turkey. Kill Turkey. Maybe we should wash it down before it joins a faction. As Yugoslavia and Bulgaria be at war while both countries are ruled by a child. That's probably a different achievement. T today I want to do the communist one, but I think we have to replay. Complete the focus, the fate of the Balkans. Well, I mean... What is the fate of the Balkans? And before that's not communist, meaning we have to play Bulgaria three times for all achievements. Yeah, communism is over here. Uh, so we have to play Bulgaria again. Yeah, as Communist Bulgaria formed the United Balkan Federation and own all Communist Bulgaria. Okay, let's also, we're learning, we're learning, man. Okay, that's already the warm-up for Bulgaria. There's not much going on, man. You don't have to prepare like in fucking NC. Okay, let's get some economy going. Here we go. A realistic plan for future DLC. Uh, thank you for the sub. We talked about this many times, and I think we're going to see it. There, there's no question about it. Everyone knows it. Russia needs a focus tree, and Italy needs a focus tree. That, that's, and I think they even confirmed. I mean, look at that. Are you fucking kidding me? It's actually almost fucking criminal that Hoy that paradox hasn't touched this in in like what three years. That's actually kind of fuck, fucked up, dude. So obviously it's gonna be something about Italy, and maybe uh, I think what we're gonna see is um, the way you can change. Um, Ships, you can build your own tanks like that. You can put certain plate armor on them, stuff like that. I think that's what's, what's gonna happen. And then you get some war. Man, this is a big focus street. It's very nice. I'm not doing it just yet. I'm getting I'm getting the factories. I'm an idiot. 
I, I fucking love doing industry. 20 fucking uh, factories already, man. That's, this is how you play Bulgaria, baby. Just... Agrarian's popularity rising in the countryside. Should I repress them? I'm gonna repress them. Demobilize our economy. Oh, I wasn't allowed to go partial mope yet. Oh, fa Oh, that's bad. I'm gonna go back to early mope. Okay. Shit, I need... I need... Fuck, that was such a noob mistake. You need 30% war support or you can't hold partial mope. If we want to enter oppressive regime of Tsar Bogus, we must begin by seeking the necessary support to exert significant opposition to the current government. So what happens? You get popul you get communism and democracy, you lose 5 stability, you get minus 15% PP, a lot of factions are changing. I get a lot of decisions and stuff and advisors, okay? Let's take a look here. Okay, let's see where this country goes. I actually don't know what's gonna happen. I think there's a big civil war gonna hit us and I have to actually turn off... I'm gonna have strikes here in a second. The government idea, Theodosi Taskalov. Oh, I'm doing so many mistakes. I lost my military guy. Condemn. Yeah, yeah. Condemn seems good. Stability, political power, world tension gets decreased. It's so crazy that Bulgaria can decrease world tension by five. That's like so meta multiplayer. Hey, Bulgaria, can you decrease the world tension so the allies can do shit? Yeah, sure, man. Sure. Wait, are the strikes actually getting worse? No, they don't get worse. They actually get worse. Oh, this is actually restart. Holy shit, I fucked up on such a high level. <laughs> oh my god. Holy moly. Ah, uh, uh, this is actually restart. I just kind of killed myself. You cannot do partial mope. Fuck it. Hey, we're learning though. I'm totally fine with this. I'm not like the guy anymore. Like, oh my god, we fucked up. No, I'm such a beta. Ah, ah. Just fucking learning, man. It's totally fine. Use your PP only for the faction decisions first. Yeah, I learned that. I'm learning, okay? I know you guys are all experts. I now know how to play Bulgaria. Here we go. Let's go. I will play one serious game now. Watch this. A few moments later. Three divisions. Wait, he has a huge army. I can't even do anything. I get three divisions. He can't beat them. It's impossible. Thank you, Jones. Uh, next restart. Um, well, let's rush again, okay? This time we're gonna rush the Sveno, so that doesn't happen, and then we're gonna rush the Nazis. And then with the other two guys, we should have infinite time, I guess? I don't know. Superior firepower. I mean, you've already seen this. This is the basic build-up. I'm gonna keep all the political power in check, not even using it. Hopefully, uh, this time, no Oswald mostly, so they're not gonna appease me. I'm gonna improve uh, relations, so maybe I get my rearmament through again. So here we go. Before I can do Svono, I can already s help the socialists a bit. So here we go. I'm actually playing this right now. I think once you learn the early game of Bulgaria, you know what to do. Obviously, it took like four restarts. He refuses. So it's about Oswald mostly. It's about Oswald mostly, guys. I'm not getting rearmament because there's no... Oh, he lifted it! <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Good pressure, good pressure. The question is, do I push everyone to 50 and then integrate the socialists? Or do I completely annex Sveno first so they never rise up against me? And I think the answer is, you fully annex Sveno first. And you need to integrate them. Everyone in chat who says you should kill them is wrong. They give you literally the, the infantry genius. Okay, now I need 50 loyalty with the agrarians and then I have the focus. Finally, after five... Restarts. 50 loyalty with agrarians. Here we go. I need 30% communism, which I'm getting soon. After I integrated the fuckboys. So we're just... There's not much happening, guys. We're just chilling out. This is kind of what the DLC is about. You're just kind of AFK and doing stuff like this, which is fine. I think that's cool. It's okay. When EU4, after all deals... Uh, after all achievements in Hoi4, we're starting the second part of the mega campaign. The mega campaign that will take up to a year <laughs> in EU4, man. Uh... After gathering significant support from numerous political groups, it is time for our anti-fascist front to become a political movement in itself. Uniting the members of all these different political organizations into a single party determined to resist fascism in Bulgaria at all costs. Really cool. Actually, I actually think this is really cool, man. This is really Look at Russia. Yes, they have a revolution. Isn't that crazy? But the revolution always dies. Here we go. We have formed the Fatherland Front, integrated not only by the Communist Party, 
but also by former members of the Sveno, Broad Socialists and the Agrarians and other formations, which now, together, oppose the bourgeoisie that dominates the country and that will hesitate to ruin it again. 70% stop. Oh! You get a national spirit that gives you communism forever and, very importantly, infinite war support. Hey, nice. Dude, this is actually fun as fuck, man. Voting right for women? Okay, I'll fuck. I'm just kidding, just a joke. Anti-Tsarist sentiment is spreading Bulgaria around. We must seize this valuable opportunity to overthrow Tsar Boris and abolish the Bulgarian monarchy once and for all. Fucking do it, man. After that, I'm gonna integrate the agrarians and we are fully done with the faction bullshit and we can actually play with four. I think I want that woman. Technocrat! <gasps> Dude, I'm taking Technocrat. You, hey, if Tommy sees technocracy, he's like, Whoa! Hey! Whoa! I wanna play technocracy in Stellaris for 50 times in a row! Little entente. Very, very fucking weird factions, which is beautiful. Look at that. That's so weird. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. That's gonna be a fun game. Uh, let's integrate them. That's all political parties now united on the one banner. Here we go. We're actually making really, really sick infantry, man. It's gonna be very expensive, though. But hey, Tommy needs his 14 force. Without 14 force, I can't exist. Imagine doing 20 whiffs. And uh, here we go. The utmost optimization. By the way, I'm communist. I'm a normal hero force streamer. I'm playing the Soviet anthem and I go communist. Ha ha! Let's get this little bonus here. There you go, man. The People's Republic. My name. Oh, holy shit. Leipzig Triads? Whoa! I live there. Georgi, where are you? What the fuck? Dude, look at him. Communist support, political. Wow. My. Oh, plus. No, if you declare war on me, it's plus 25. Man, he's amazing. He. What? The hero of the Leipzig Trials. I can't do armored cars, too expensive. And maybe it's time for Project Yogurt, man. Project fucking yogurt. Everything is looking amazing. There you go. Here comes population. Big bonus hitting. Dude, Bulgaria is getting really strong now. It's looking really good. Technologically, I'm so... Look at the difference between my Turkey on three resource slots and my Bulgaria on four. My Bulgaria is on the highest level on infant almost the highest level of infantry possible right now. Because I have four research slots, while Germany is... Uh, Turkey was just so behind. So behind. Unlocks the Balkan Federation Dream Decisions. And Yugoslavia gets the event Bulgarian Treaty of Perpetual Friendship. I will renounce my... This is it. I'll also make them all communist. As a first step into developing good relations with our neighbors in the Balkans, we must approach the Yugoslav government with a proposal to sign a treaty that establishes the basis for cooperation between our countries and by which the Socialist Republic of Bulgaria finally abandons the Irredentists' claim to Yugoslavia. Okay. So I'm gonna annex them all or something. This is all very political. Thank you, Wingni. Wait, they all just joined the Allies. Why is everyone in the Allies? Hey, why did you all join the allies? Hey, can I still switch them? Hopefully. Oh. Okay, I have to kill the whole planet again on my own. It's, it's always the same. It's totally fine. Actually, it makes a lot of sense to do free traders, Bulgaria, because you lose nothing. Georgi Dimitrov returned to Sofia today from a meeting with Prince Paul in Serbia to discuss a proposal to sign a treaty of friendship between Yugoslavia and the Socialist Republic of Bulgaria. At the end of the meeting, dignitaries from both countries agreed to the treaty but left some clauses open for the future. Balkan Federation Project. You get 70 PP. I get 10 communism. Yugoslavia gets communism. This is really cool, man. It's really cool how you influence your neighbors. This is more like a pool. This is everything I always talk about in a way. It's like Dan Land is watching the stream a lot. So we just have to wait until I switch to Yugo, I guess. Not much else I can do. I need to finish the Balkan Influence Project. The Balkans. Hopefully I can still do it, even though they are in a faction and it work. If you can't do it, it's just badly designed. By the time you reach all the shit, the world is already in a huge world war. And sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I feel like Paradox is not testing their own... I don't know, man. It's a little bit stupid by the developers, because by the time... I can't do anything about this. Because they just... It's too late. By the time you... This is a bit stupid. Yes, Yugo is coming, but... But yes, they're the commie, but that doesn't change the fact they're not they're not gonna join me, boys. That's the issue of the development here. Man, I'm just super annoyed. That that like I think what annoys me that you don't have freedom if you think about it. You do not have freedom. It's like fake freedom. Well at least if you wanna go the way of the achievement, then you don't have freedom. 
Well, let's restart. I have to. So we're rushing politics now. We're we're trying. We're we're we're, we're doing historical. Dude, let's do old school Tommy. Fuck all this bullshit. Let's go straight up kill everyone. Straight up kill everyone. If you guarantee them, they still join the allies. We're, we're playing the Tommy fucking style, man. Unbelievable, dude. Uh, it's probably gonna get guaranteed by UK, so... We're fucked again. But I said I'm ready to kill everyone. I'm ready to fuck it all. I'm just killing everything and everyone. Oh, shit. Romania dying to Germany. I mean... Uh, whatever. I, I, I anticipated that, and I'm ready to kill the whole planet. What's the best Bulgarian interview template? Listen, man, you make a screenshot, right? You make a screenshot, and then you go tell your daddy. Turkey, Turkey, you need to go. I mean, don't worry, you're gonna get fucking uh, helped by the UK. But I think I'm just gonna do it and not give a fuck about the UK. I feel like, hey, I'm fucking done with this bullshit. I think we're joining Russia, it could be something. Anyway, we are preparing our first war against Turkey, even though I have no <laughs> army to <laughs> defend against Romania. So everything is as always shit. Oh. Well, we have to kill Germany, but we know that. We know that. It's... Nothing can hurt me anymore. I'm a rock man. I'm just gonna kill the whole fucking planet. Yugoslavia. So everybody's in the Axis. I gotta kill the Axis. It's normal. It's so normal. I gotta kill all of this, but I'm totally used to that. When Germany's against Russia, I could join Russia. We actually have a good game here. I can join Russia and... and this is actually a good game. Join Russia when Hitler attacks Russia, even though France is alive, and then together with Russia, fight World War II. This could actually be the game, guys. This could actually be the one. Well, I shall take it. This should not be an issue. No one should, like, call him. Here we fucking go, man. Tommy is taking down the first guy. It took us eight games to do that. Netherlands is dying. Six. Uh, back to seven. Okay, I need to retreat. No matter how good you play this game. Look, it's the most basic bullshit division ever. Just because of this, they can hold it, man. It's always been like this, and it's it's okay. Here we go. Come in. Let's go. Let's have fun. There you go. It's a lot of Turks. And yeah, very nice AI. And there you go. It can't even take the boss pulls again. Well, let's just keep encircling them till the end of days, and then one day they will be done. That feels so exploited the way I played this. But you have to. Hoi 4 is a clunky piece of shit. Okay, okay. That should be it here. So we're slowly gonna finish Turkey. And at least we get our first annexation ever as Bulgaria. Thing is, I can't take Greece. It's with the Allies. I probably gotta kill Germany. Look for the peace deal. Take Romania and Yugo in the peace deal. Then fight all the allies, UK, meaning I have to take London and the USA. I probably even have to kill Tokyo because it's going to join the Axis. Ha blah, ha blue, ha blah, blah, blah. But we were, I knew that. I knew all that would happen. I knew I had to kill the entire planet. I prepared for it. I think we got enough training. Yeah, oh, he actually leveled up. What did he get? Infantry expert. I have a very strong infantry army, but that's about it. That's all I have to show. It seems about it. There you go, man. Actually getting turkey and no one intervening. That's beautiful. Now comes the good shit. Now start... I got an achievement already. What? Oh, as Greece or Bulgaria on both sides of the Bosporus. Hey, we got an achievement after 20 hours of trying. Woo! Hey, so I need mad police in that state. I'm gonna need so much police in there. It's just every single game, every scenario is just kill... The entire fucking planet. Kill them all. The achievement is that you have to take your neighbor. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Kill the fucking... You, you gotta go to Washington, D.C. if you want that achievement. As Tibet, take Bhutan. How about you go to Tokyo and Washington first, huh? So, don't join Russia until they're here. And then I push a bit into Yugo. Actually, he's taking care of my border. So, let's just fucking do it. Get the fuck in. Fuck everything. Maybe at least I can take a chunk of Yugo. And then I will make Russia have a war with the Allies. That's the goal. That's the goal. Hopefully I can take as much of Yugo as I can. I need full Yugo. But yeah, we're gonna have a huge war with the Allies. Italy is also in there. Okay, let's see what that peace deal gives us. Okay, Yugo's almost there. They're done. Then I can focus on Germany. Then we have a huge peace deal with the end of Hitler. And then Cold War, man. Communism versus capitalism. 
You can even do the Kurdistan achievement as, as like Germany, you know? Yeah, actually, you can do the Kurdistan achievement as everyone. Yeah, you can literally play Adolf Hitler and get the Kurdistan achievement. Dude, deep inside, I, I would like to do uh, a single-player Germany game again, but there's just nothing motivating for it. There's no achievements for it. But actually, single-player Germany could lead to Kurdistan. That'd be fun. Hitler the Kurd. In a weird way, guys, I, I think I'm gonna do the Kurdistan achievement as Germany because I'm missing playing single-player Germany. I'm missing a fun um, experience in Hoi 4. And single-player Germany is fun as fuck because you're just so overpowered. I just already know that this peace conference is gonna be so fucking cancer. The thing is, though, every time I restart, it's not gonna get better than this. Okay, Frankfurt, and then let's look, take a look at the peace conference. If I have 30%, alright, man, we can maybe get something done here. There might be a chance we get shit done. Hey! No, no, just, just done. Just fuck off. Oh, Hitler is still allowed to live in Hanover? Dude, this is what the fuck? <laughs> Jawohl, Alter. So we could kill the allies together and then I won them on Russia and then I have all the achievements. Yay. <laughs> yeah, Alter. Fuck it, I'm done, man. Let's go all in here. I'm so fucking done. Dude, look at this face. Look at my face. We're back to Hoi 4 Chiven runs. We're fully back, dude. We are fully back. Wait, am I not getting Unite the entire Balkan here? No, because he has Zara. No, Belgium has Zara. Was ist das, man? Denland, why the fuck is Dorbrugge not freed by Germany so they can make a puppet here, man? You need to explain that shit, man. So how the fuck do I take that? It's impossible. I can't get anything. I can't even take Kurdistan because Russia took Mosul. It's all fucked. What? I'm not even... Wait, I have to play again without communism? <laughs> oh man, welcome back to achievement runs. Holy shit, bro. We're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna be busy for a while. I'm not getting a single achievement here. It's all fucked. You know why? Because of this. This right here is what fucks us. It's so ridiculous. Hey, we got one achievement. Uh, half Turkey as Bulgaria. Hey. We got... I captured the Bosporus and all I got was this lousy achievement. Are you making fun of me here, Dan? Are you making fun of me? I'm feeling a Germany game just to get some fun back. Wait, let, let me just check something. Let's check something. Let's just see how many... Uh, one achievement should be shown. One achievement should be shown. You can actually make the Kurdistan achievement as Germany. You can actually do that. Oh, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Germany into Kurdistan achievement. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Tommy is going to play World of Warcraft all night, and he's going to have a smile on his face when he does it. Thank you very much for watching. Check well, out okay. the follow button. Check out Twitter. Check out the merch, the greatest merch I've ever seen on Twitch. And, and check out loving yourself. Loving yourself is more important than you think. You're beautiful, even though you might not think it. You're better than you think you are. Have a good night, and all the best, boys. Love you. Sitting here sad, now I'm just sitting here sad